So if you've heard all week, um, there will be a Trump indictment about him taking top secret documents from Washington down to his residence in Mar-a-Lago, Florida. All right, so I reported this on Tuesday. I think I was the first one to break it, that it was a fait accompli. Um, I don't know when exactly it's going to happen, but the, Donald Trump and his lawyers know it's inevitable. Now, there are two grand juries, so it's a little complicated. One is in D.C., all right, and one is in Miami. Uh, but I would assume the grand jury in Miami is hearing most of the Mar-a-Lago stuff. If Donald Trump is indicted, I say if, I believe he will be, but anything's possible, um, he will probably have to uh, go down to Miami at some point. The Justice Department will dictate. He's not going to be put in cuffs. It's not going to be a perp walk. It's not going to be any of that. All right. But it, it's a serious situation uh, for a former president to be up against this. Now, Trump himself, as we reported yesterday, the strategy is to attack the special counsel, Jack Smith. OK, um, and overnight, here's what Donald Trump put out on social media, quote, a top overzealous and dishonest DOJ prosecutor, that's Smith, offered a witness lawyer an important judgeship in the Biden administration if his client flips on President Trump, who has done nothing wrong. The highly respected lawyer was incensed and disgusted at this corrupt and illegal offer, unquote. So uh, this is an accusation, obviously a serious one, coming from former President Trump against the special prosecutor. Nobody knows all right, about specifics in this case, but a couple of things are very apparent. There are two courts, the federal court, and in my opinion, they are after Trump. Okay, they're after him. And then there's a court of public opinion. Those are the folks who will decide who the next president's gonna be, all right? So Donald Trump will benefit if these federal charges are flimsy. But he'll get hurt if the Justice Department can produce evidence that both you and I can see and is damning. Okay, now I don't know what that might be, but it's either or on that. If it's Alvin Bragg, Stormy Daniels, Trump will just rock it in the polls. It will assure him of the Republican nomination. If it's more than that, then we have to, as fair-minded people, examine what's being put forth. Now, here's what I said on News Nation with Chris Cuomo last night. Go. Because I know Donald Trump as well as anybody knows him. There's nothing in it for him. He's always self-motivated. Donald Trump is always self-motivated. Whatever he does is to advance his own cause in life. I wrote a book on it, The United States of Trump. I mean, he doesn't do anything in a vacuum. So for me, that is a key here. Why would he take knowingly classified documents to Florida for what reason? Didn't need to do that in any way, shape, or form. Now, I understand maybe he didn't want to cooperate with the Justice Department. Okay, but the initial act of moving the stuff physically out of Washington, he, it's not like Trump would sit in a chair and go over this stuff in a box. That would never happen in a million years. So that's my problem here. What motivated him if he did this? Because there's nothing in it for him but grief. It's just a valid question. I cannot answer that. Okay. So what about the special prosecutor investigating Joe Biden's illegal removing of classified documents as vice president? Have you heard anything about that? I have not. Now, this man, Robert Hur, like Ben, H-U-R, was appointed on January 12, 2023, this year. Have you heard one word about this guy? Or what he's doing? I haven't. Okay. I didn't, most people don't even know he exists. This is the press in America. So where is this? Where is he? Can we get an update of some kind? Doesn't take a lot to examine 
documents in a garage taken by a vice president. What is that? It's, it's June. I mean, you could do that a thousand times in this time, period of time. But we don't know anything about that. Nothing. But there is a special counsel looking into Joe Biden. And remember, a president is allowed possession of classified documents. A vice president is not. Okay? But when the National Archives asks the president to return those documents, under the law, he has to return the documents to the National Archives. Okay, are we there? Do we all understand this? I hope we do. Um, it's not a good story for this country. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.